Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bugger Designs and today is day five of my 12 Days of Christmas series. Every day I am picking a stamp set or bundle from the uh, Stampin' Up! Holiday Mini Catalog and creating two projects with it. Today we're doing Shop the Town. I actually mixed them up and <laughs> we're doing day six on day five and tomorrow we'll do day five. So today we're doing Shop the Town. This is a fun little stamp set. It actually coordinates with one from the annual catalog, which is a little shopping uh, suite. There's paper, there's this bundle right here. And so these dies, this one, uh, we'll cut that one out. This one, we'll cut that one out. Um, it's really great to have a mix and match um, stamp to add to a bundle that you already have. So we're gonna actually use both of them in our projects today. All right, let's make our card first. And we're gonna do some stamping. Whoops, I just pulled that bow right out of there. I guess I didn't put an adhesive on it. Um, we're gonna do some stamping and coloring. Lots of coloring today with our stamp and blends. All right, so measurements will all be over on my blog. Um, this little piece specifically, the measurements will be typed up and I will have a PDF at the end of the 12 days available um, to everybody who shops with me during December. All right, so this little um, entryway, you know, I don't know, really know what to call it. This cute little decoration it looks like an entry to maybe a, um, you know, a garden or a courtyard or something. We're going to stamp just part of it over here towards the top like this on this piece. Okay, and I'm stamping in memento. Uh, black and then we're going to put our little carolers right underneath and then we're also going to stamp our tree i love this tree it's fun to color make sure you get that middle part inked up well okay now colors are up to you really um, i am using mostly cherry cobbler granny apple green and um, I've got a little bit of Daffodil Delight in there, and then some Balmy Blue, just a little bit for their clothing. Um, and then of course your neutrals, Pecan Pie, Crumb Cake, and Smoky Slate. I'm not sure if I use Smoky Slate or not, but I brought it over. And then of course I'm using Petal Pink just for their faces. All right, let me pull my chair over and let's color this tree first. And I'm gonna start with my light granny apple green and the tree you have to look closely it has snow on it so you're gonna have to be real careful as you go around the ornaments and the snow and I like to use the bullet end of my marker so that I just feel like I have a little more control in there um, when I use that brush tip um, to try to get into small spaces, I always end up getting out of the lines. So play around with your markers and see what you like the best. Um, they, these two projects have a lot of coloring. So um, for the next project, I'll probably speed up the video a little bit just because it's gonna take some time. I love to color and so I am attracted usually to the sets in the catalog that will require me to pull out my Stampin' Blends. I love Stampin' Blends. They, um, they're called Stampin' Blends because they blend. You're not gonna see marker lines or streaks. The colors really blend together nicely. You know, if you color with like a Crayola marker, um, you're going to get a lot of streaks. The colors, the color doesn't blend together. Um, but if you color with Stampin' Blends, they will. And as you'll see in a minute, I'm going to add in some dark uh, color for shadows, and it will blend nicely into um, each other, the two colors, the dark and the light, which is really nice as well. Okay, so now I'm going to, you know, I'm going to leave that open. I like to take my dark and just go underneath the snow, adding some dark, and that's gonna give you some shadow. You can also do this with a light um, stamp and blend. It won't be as dark, but it will still achieve the same effect. 
And I'm gonna add some dark on along the left side of the tree as well. This one's a little tricky because you really have to watch out for the ornaments, the snow. You really have to be paying close attention to what you're doing. All right, so then I like to just take my light and just kind of blend some of that out. Um, I'm not gonna do too much of it because again, we've got so much going on here. All right, so just blend those so you don't have any hard um, lines where they haven't blended together. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, so now I'm gonna leave the ornaments. I'm not gonna color them because I'm gonna use my enamel effects in a little while. So all I'm gonna do now is just the star, all right? Then we've got this and I'm gonna come back again with the light um, granny apple green and color this the archway. I guess that's the word I'm looking for, this archway. It's so cute and I would love to go somewhere where they have taken the time to build something like this. Probably somewhere in my town there is something beautiful like this, but here in our area, locally, I can't think of anything. I have put up my Christmas decorations and nothing as fancy as this, I can tell you <laughs> for sure. All right, so then um, I'm gonna use my uh, cherry cobbler. And the reason I'm using cherry cobbler is because the um, paper I decided to use is cherry cobbler. So that's why I went with cherry cobbler. And again, I'm going to leave the little lights or bulbs or whatever they are um, not colored. All right, so now let's come over here um, with this column. And I'm going to do some, uh, crumb cake. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my dark crumb cake and just add in some shadows, maybe down the left side, like that. And then just kind of blend that all together. All right, while I have my crumb cake out, I'm gonna color, let's see, I'm gonna do this guy's shirt crumb cake, and I'm gonna do dad's shoes. And then let's get our cherry cobbler. And I'm gonna do dad's shirt. These are tiny, so I'm not gonna get real, you know, I'm not gonna do a lot of um, shadow. And actually, I think I wanna use the dark because the light cherry cobbler really does look a lot more like real red. So let's add in some dark there. All right, let's do the book. And then I'm gonna take um, my uh, balmy blue. And you know, I realize I only brought over the dark balmy blue. So I think we're gonna do everything in dark. I had some variation in my original project where I had dark and light. Let's do mom's shoes in blue. Um, what else? Dad's hat. All right, I think I'll use green for mom's sh shirt. Granny apple green. Maybe the sun's got some green shoes. <laughs> um, let's see, let's do, I guess that green needs to come down right there. Um, mom's book will do cherry cobbler as well. Her, her music, she's singing, I think. That's her, her music. All right, I'm gonna make her a blonde. And while I have it out, I'll just do the boy blonde too. And then some skin tone. And we've got lots of skin tone options, so go for whatever you like. All right, now I also like to take my light um, crumb cake, which is right here. And I am gonna use the brush in, and I'm just gonna kind of add in a line, a ground line, so it doesn't look like they're floating around in space. Okay, now let's cut out our tree. You're gonna need your paper snips. And I'm just gonna go around the black line. I'm not going to cut on the black line, I'm going around the outside.
And you wanna cut off that excess paper as you go. Now, if you don't wanna use enamel effects, of course, just use your markers to color in those lights and bulbs or balls or whatever they are on there. All right, I think we are ready to put our card together. I have a um, basic white thick card base and I've got this beautiful, joyful designer series paper. And we're gonna put this on with dimensionals. Right here in the middle. I'm gonna mat this piece on a piece of cherry cobbler. And I'm gonna put this on with dimensionals also. And I'm gonna have it over on the right side. Kind of hanging off a little bit. Now I have taken the street light. This is from the shop, the town, or the uh, Let's Go Shopping dies. Ba cut it out of basic black. And I've got a little piece, teeny tiny piece of vellum here. And I'm gonna take my liquid glue. And let's see if I can do it. Just a little bit of glue. Spread it around. And set that right on there. We're gonna cut that out in a minute. That's gonna kind of give us a soft little glow behind our light. Um, all right, for the ornament, I mean the ornament, what am I thinking? The tree, we're gonna put some dimensionals here. Um, but I also have cut out two things of snow. These are from the horse and sleigh dies. And I'm gonna add these kind of to give us some layers here. I'm gonna put one right here. And then let's put the tree on and decide where we want the other one. So the tree is gonna go over to the left. And then I'm gonna put this, do we wanna put it in front or do we wanna put it behind? I'm kind of feeling like in front. So let's see if my dimensional will fit right there. And we'll put that right there in the front like that, covering up our tree. I also have stamped the sentiment. This is from our Christmas um, Shop the Town stamp set. And I am gonna put that right here overlapping like that. I embossed it with gold embossing powder. Okay, now let's see if this guy is ready to trim. Hopefully I gave it enough time to dry. And then you just wanna take that um, vellum and just cut it around the edges of your lamp. All right, and then we can stick this on, and I think I'm actually going to stick it with a dimensional, and it's going to look funny, but it's going to be hidden. So I'm going to put a dimensional on like that behind it, and I'm going to slide it behind the tree right there. Okay, now let's make a bow. I've got my gold trim. This is an online exclusive product. And I'm gonna tie a bow. And let's grab some glue dots. Mini glue dot, I'm gonna put on the back. And I'm gonna tuck that behind there like that. And there you go. Oh wait, we need to do the ornaments and the, the lights. So I'm gonna use uh, several colors of uh, enamel effects. And I'm just gonna add a dot on each one of these. And I'm pulling straight up, kind of so that it makes like a Hershey Kiss shape. And it'll dry flat in a ball. So I've used the gold, this is the copper, and I think I'll use the red as well. Let's put one right there.
Now the trick with this is to let it dry completely. You're gonna to have to set it away from you. Believe me, don't leave it sitting on your desk. You'll sit something on top of it. You wanna sit it away from you on maybe a window seal somewhere and give it a good half an hour to an hour, really, to dry. All right, there we go, cute. I love this card. Christmas magic is in the air. All right, let me clean up and then I'm gonna show you our gift card holder. All right, the next project is a gift card holder and it opens up like this and the ribbon, if you slide it up, then it opens and there is your gift card. All right, so I was thinking shopping, what would you, what kind of treat or gift would you give with a set that says shop the town? Well, of course, a gift card. So we're gonna do a lot of coloring. We're gonna use both the um, shop the town and the let's go shopping stamp sets. Um, before we do that, I wanna add some color to this basic white piece. This is the piece that's here in the background. You can't really see it a whole lot, but we are gonna add some color to it. All right, I'm gonna use balmy blue for the sky and crumb cake for the ground. And I've got my two small blending brushes here. And I'm gonna take the um, balmy blue and I'm just gonna go around the top. Really, you just need to get the edges because our buildings are gonna cover up most of this. Okay, and then take the crumb cake and let's go around the bottom. All right, so we're gonna set that aside to dry. And now let's do our coloring. Now this is a lot of coloring. So I'm gonna probably speed up the video, but I wanna show you exactly what I'm stamping. I'm using pieces from both sets, all right? So first we'll stamp this. And this is my favorite image because it has all the bricks. Let's see, here's my ink. Um, and I, if you look at my sample, have colored the bricks, multi, multiple colors. I even added, well, multiple shades is what I should say. Multiple shades of cherry cobbler, and then I colored some in with um, smoky slate to make them a little bit darker. All right, now the next one is from Let's Go Shopping. Okay, we'll do that one right there. And then the next um, one, let's look at our sample. The next one is the roof, rooftop from Shop the Town. Okay, so we'll stamp that. And then we need um, the wreath, okay? We're gonna stamp the wreath. Then um, this little window scene, this is from Shop the Town. And I'm gonna stamp it right here in the middle of that window. And then we need two stacks of gifts. Okay, so now this is gonna take probably a good 10 minutes to color and I will speed up the video as I go, but you can watch as I color. Hopefully I got everything stamped that we need. Um, oh, you know what we do need? And I realized this actually fell off of my sample. We need to stamp Happy Holidays. This one is supposed to be up there on that building. So Happy Holidays in Cherry Cobbler. And then the frame part needs to be in Memento Black. Okay, now I'm gonna use the same colors I used for the previous card, all the same colors. Look at how far we've traveled Look at how much we've done Truth is one person can matter Look what ideas can become The journey to our destination Is what we remember today Go oh, celebrate The difference that we made Thinking back at where we started We can see just how far we have come with what each of us has created We see there is power in one The journey is not always easy 
right, we are done coloring. Now, these things over here can all be cut out with dies, but these three things are gonna need to be fussy cut. Um, just take your scissors, they're pretty easy, and go around the edges. And use your paper snips. Your paper snips are your best bet when it comes to fussy cutting. Um, they're small and sharp, and they really get in around the, in the smaller areas that you need, like the corners, um, really easily. Cut off that extra cardstock as you go. Now this one is a little bit trickier, but really just stay on the outside. Turn your opposite hand as you go, round and around. And voila, there we go. All right, let me grab my machine and we're ready to cut. Now the, remember the dies are not part of the Shop the Town stamp set from the Holiday Catalog. The dies are part of the Let's Go Shopping bundle from the Annual Catalog. All right, I don't think I can cut those at the same time. They're too close, but we can cut these at the same time. Okay, we've got lots of fun little pieces to put together. You wanna make sure that they stay as you go around. Make sure, keep your eye on them so that they don't slip as you run it through. Right, I think we're ready to put everything together. Now I have cut some things ahead of time. Um, if you watched yesterday's video, I told you to hold on to a couple of those trees because we're gonna need them. Um, the wreath, let's see, my glue is right here. We're gonna attach right here to the door, right over that, you won't even see it. Um, the Happy Holidays, we're gonna put right across here. Okay. And then we've got the awning. I have cut out of white and cherry cobbler. If I can get it to pick up, ugh. All right, and I have put an adhesive sheet on the back of the cherry cobbler piece. So that it's already an it's already got adhesive on it. It's a sticker basically. Okay. And that we're gonna put there with a dimensional. All right, and then I have a black bench right here and here are our trees. Okay, so now, before we can piece all this together, we need to do some scoring. I'm using um, pieces, again, of the Joyous Designer Series paper, and then I've got Cherry Cobbler cardstock. And the first piece that you need, let me look at my notes so I tell you the right thing, is four and a fourth by nine and a half. We're gonna score it at four and a half, five and a half, and six and a half. And then you need another piece that is four and a fourth by four, and score at one inch on the short side, okay? All right, now you're gonna need a stapler also. First thing we're gonna do is burnish those lines so that it looks like this. You've got like a V, and I'm gonna take my stapler and staple this fold to the back. That's gonna create your little pocket for your gift card. Now this part where the fold is, first thing I'm gonna do is cut off the corners and I'm gonna put adhesive 
on the tab and flip this over and match those edges. This is your flap that folds over. So this folds in and this folds over. Now let's cover everything up with some um, designer series paper. I've got, let me make sure I put them all in the right places. We're gonna put this one, the little holly berries and gold foil paper. We're gonna put that right there. And this one, depending on if you can slide it underneath your staples or not, depends on how big it's going to be. Um, I always forget to put it on before I staple, so I may need to trim mine a little bit. Let's see. Let's see, can I trim? Yep, I have my trimmer right here. All right, and then we'll just slide that right there. Perfect. Then I've got another piece, same designer series paper, right here. Now, for the front, for our town, I have, remember that um, piece that we put the ink on? That's gonna go on the very top flap, and you fold it in like that. And then I am using a piece of DSP. This is the um, horse and sleigh uh, bundle or paper that is on um, an online exclusive. And I'm, I cut it just so that I have a piece of snowy, kind of snowy ground for the bottom right here. All right, now let's line all of our things up. We're gonna need some dimensionals. Let's see. And we'll start with this one. And you're gonna pretty much use up the whole space, okay? And then we're gonna put the roof part, the upper floor, right above like that. All right, and then we're gonna do the other little shop, and it's gonna kind of peek out from behind, like that. Okay, and then I decided to put some things on the roof. So I've got a tree, and I think I'm gonna cut my tree down. Remember, these are the trees we made yesterday. You know, if you visit New York City, you'll see they have all kinds of things up on the roof. All kinds of things, really. Um, they have parks, they have restaurants. So I thought, why not? Let's put some things at the top. All right, and a little stack of gifts. And then down here, we'll put our bench. with dimensionals right here, like it's across the street. And then we can add some of our trees. It seems like I only have, oh no, here we go. Here's a small tree. I'll put this one, is this one gonna be too big? Let's cut off the bottom of it because I don't like the bottom of it anyway. We'll put that there like that. And then the other little tree Let's move it down a bit. And then the other little tiny tree, we'll put right there like it's, well, no, we need it coming from behind. Well, maybe not. I used too many dimensionals there to slide it behind. And then last but not least, we'll take our last stack of gifts and set them right on the bench like that. All right, so now your gift card goes right here. And then I am just using ribbon to tie it closed. If you want, you can, instead of using the ribbon, you can use um, a magnet, a button magnet, or a small little um, Velcro dot, which would work as well. All right, and then snip, snip, and there you go. So if you like to color, with your Stampin' Blends. This is the set for you. It does take some time, but it's a piece of art, I think, when you're done. And I love coloring, so this is definitely a set I'm gonna keep. 
around and use at Christmas time. All right, you guys, thanks for joining me today. Tomorrow, we will do the Mary and Bright bundle that we were supposed to do today. Um, but remember, I have the measurements on my blog today and um, I'll have a PDF at the end of the 12 days. All right, let me know if you have questions. Bye-bye.